Studies show that when people do rapid weight loss, they just gain it right back. So don't even waste your time. We generally recommend people to be around 500 calories deficit per day because 500 calories per day times seven days a week, this is gonna be 3,500 calories. So 3,500 calories is a pound a week. Welcome back to the channel, guys. This is Dr. Ben Aliland here in Winter Park, Florida. Today, I'm going to be discussing about how to initially go about losing weight. The way I go about this is I calculate the calories that someone's intaking and the calories that are going out of the body. And so this is based on the first law of thermodynamics. I know, sounds smart, right? The first law of thermodynamics states that energy is never created or destroyed. It's only converted from one form into the other. With us, that's gonna be the food we intake turns into the energy that we use. There are nuances to this with the timing of you eat, the type of food that you eat, but I'm not gonna get into that in this video. You're gonna have to use this foundation of calories in or calories out. We call this Kiko. Once you are able to determine this, then you're able to determine the calories you need to intake at a negative rate to lose weight. So when I'm discussing with my patients first is how much is your calorie burn per day or what is your metabolic rate? And so you can calculate this based on an equation called the Mifflin St. Gior, and you can look it up. I'll put it here in the video. You can copy it and then put in the calculations for you, your specific numbers, or you can just go to AI and put in your height, age, gender, and weight. Once you do that, you can ask AI to calculate it for you so you don't make any errors in calculating and you base it on this equation. When you get that number, then you multiply it by a factor to get a number called the TDEE. Now the TDEE is total daily energy expenditure. This is how much you're gonna burn based on your activity level. So most people by far are gonna be sedentary. This is like a desk job, computer job. Yeah, you walk to the car. Generally, most people are sitting down for the most part of their eight hour shift when they're working. So you're gonna get a factor, multiplication factor based on the category that you choose and i'll place these multiplication factors here also once you get that and you multiply that times your basal metabolic rate you're able to get your total daily energy expenditure so i'll give you an example so i calculate my basal metabolic rate let's say the average for most people is somewhere between 1500 to 2500 we'll just say 2000 calories i multiply it towards a sedentary factor for the TDEE and then I get my calorie burn for the whole day. Now your calories may fluctuate depending on what you do but most people are going to be the same activity. So we're going to try to keep it simple and but we're going to figure out what our total daily expenditure is. So 2000 times 1.2 a factor of 1.2 will give me 2400 calories in a day. Now again this might be different for you but I'm just giving this as an example. Once you know that, you're gonna try to be negative on that so that you either maintain your weight or you're trying to lose weight. So with the purpose of losing weight, we generally recommend people to be around 500 calories deficit per day because 500 calories per day times seven days a week, this is gonna be 3,500 calories. So 3,500 calories is a pound a week. Why do you want to lose one pound a week? Why would someone want to do that? Well, because it's the most sustainable way to lose weight. And if you do otherwise, where you're going upwards past two to three, four, five pounds a week, it's not going to work. Studies show that when people do rapid weight loss, they just gain it right back. So don't even waste your time. So when you burn one pound of pure fat per week, that is noticeable. It may be noticeable after a few weeks when you burn three, four pounds because it's, it's not just water weight. When we get that number, we have to be consistent at this. Consistency is key when trying to lose weight. When you see this method and you're staying at, in this example, 1900 calories, you will lose weight. It's been shown that no matter what you eat, when you're at 1900 calories, you will lose weight. Again, there are nuances 
on the Kiko method and calculating this, but you will lose weight when you're doing it this way, when you're 500 calories deficit. So the next part of the equation is now finding out how much you're putting in. So I need to get to 1900 calories. I can burn a lot of calories by exercising. I can burn less calories by just laying in bed. But if I'm sedentary, I'm gonna be burning 2,400 calories and I need to be negative 1,900 calories. I need to take in 1,900 calories. The way I'm gonna to have to do that is monitor my calorie intake. I usually recommend people an application. Any of them will work. The one that's most commonly that I recommend is MyFitnessPal. I used others in the past, but this one I like because it, you're able to easily input your food that other people have put in that are already standardized. And so you can click and tap and document. It can also document your energy expenditures. If you happen to increase your energy or you're walking more, exercising, you can add that in. So what's good about this is that when you do this over a period of time, usually I recommend about a week. Once you've been doing that, you can name foods and call out the calories pretty easily. And so it's being familiar with the food that you take and what their calorie measurement is. And so then now you're able to count calories very easily, very readily when you have done this for about a week. So stick to the app, be very strict on putting everything in that you intake. So it's a food diary. But the most important part is that you're knowing the calories that you're putting in. So now when I get 1900 calories, I end up losing weight over time. But knowing that I can burn more calories if I'm more active. I can lessen or increase my calorie intake. When you do this, ultimately you will lose weight. This is the exact method of how I go about telling my patients how to at least start out knowing this. You're gonna need to know how much you're putting in and how much you're putting out. Hopefully this was helpful for you guys. Hopefully you'll start measuring your calories calculating your basal metabolic rate in your total daily expenditures. If you like this video, like and subscribe. Thanks for watching guys.